I wish I didn't need to make this video. And yet here we are, a week after the initial recording and also the upgrade on the Creality K1 with the CFS, which video you didn't see. And that's for a good purpose because I want you to avoid the same mistake that I made and going back into the original K1 and saving you a lot of money and headache. Right here on Zachary 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. Yeah, the Coreality K1 with the CFS upgrade. It looked on paper so amazing. And I was really looking forward to have this printer printing in multiple colors. And yet it didn't happen. It's even back to its original state. Now, there were some issues that I encountered during the whole assembly. And I do want to show you also for the maybe purpose of the entertainment. You can watch those as well. That, that are some pictures that I shoot during the installation. Let me know in the comments if I made somewhere a mistake. And after the compilation, I'll give you all the details about what I did afterwards. The QR code here on the front is your installation QR code. It will bring you directly to the Creality Wiki in order to install this Creality K1 CFS upgrade kit. Please, whatever you do, don't scan this one because it brings you into a rabbit hole that is so dark and so deep. It's, it's, it's dark. But before we are going to do this, we have to make sure, I don't know if it is in the instruction, but make sure there is no filament in the path from the PTFE tube or in the extruder. So I'm going to connect this 3D printer, turn it on and unload the filament because there
So yeah, the CFS was finally attached to the Creality K1 and then I started with the calibration, uh, also do doing the firmware update. Um, you are going to get a lot of issues if you are going for the installation. Well, if you are upgrading the firmware, that is no problem. You are going to add the multicolor system from Creality on your K1. The thing is, however, I was going into all the things that I needed to do, also for the purge bucket and all the other stuff, bed left leg, everything I done according to what I supposed to do. I got every single time a filament in the extruder message. I looked online, I looked to my assembly, I looked if some wires were you know, pinched or something? No, everything I have done, I did correctly. I unscrewed the extruder, I think probably 15 times, where the 15th time was back into its original shape. Because you are taking the filament detection from the backside out, and because of the firmware update, the filament breakage detection or sensor is now sitting inside of the extruder for the CFS upgrade. Now that is all fine. Uh, filament goes in, you get a blue light and it detects filament. But what if it doesn't light up? What if there is at least like five to 10 centimeters filament from the extruder and triggering some? And then the, while the extruder, the printhead is waiting for filament, it is sitting above the poop chute, the perch chute, the perch bucket. Yeah, well, that caused also a lot of noise because some moment everything turns into black, it goes into a safe mode, and then you have to turn off the printer, turn it back on. But what does it do afterwards? It tries to go into a home position or something like that. And then because of the weird V shape, the nozzle is getting stuck behind it. So you have the risk to damage your hot end and your nozzle, which I also don't want. So it took me a whole weekend to figure out what was going on. I went online, I looked in forums, everything was going about the K1 Max and the K2 and all, all other stuff except for the K1. And now the thing is, I don't know how many people did successfully do the upgrade to the Creality K1 with the CFS. I don't know, but I can imagine that since it isn't being looked up this much, I assume that there is or no problem or nobody actually wanted to do that. So my advice, if you are thinking about it to actually buy the K1 CFS upgrade, be my guest, you are, paying around the 400 USD. I'm not going to put any links in the description because why would I sell something that I know that it doesn't work on my Creality K1, let alone on yours. So before spending a lot of money, I don't want you to waste any money. But hey, if you know where I made a mistake, please let me know in the comments. But on the other side, what did Zach do? Zach went back. I went back to the original K1, but the firmware was another headache as well, because you basically are going to connect your controller mainboard directly to your PC to actually go back to factory settings. Because if you want to restore settings, I think that's also factory default, you'll get another filament sensor detection error message. And since you have planned everything backwards, oh, I tried to do that as well when I had the other extruder on there. And also there, I had the same issue. I don't want to spend another hour explaining what happened during the installation. You have to download several things and then you need to connect it. Best is to take all wires out because there are two buttons that are mm, not really accessible. I printed the Banshee on it to check if everything is well. Everything is back to its original state. Maybe in the future I'm going to redo it, but going through the same headache again? I don't think so. Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Hey, 
even though I didn't give you any good news, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And then amazing thanks for the Patreon supporters and the YouTube channel members. You are amazing. See you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.